Jai Ganesh. This is a very unusual Ganesh called the Abstract Ganesh. And uh, we're continuing our series on Murthy's mythology with Manoj. Short moments, short tasty bites. Okay. I love this one. To me, uh, you know, every feeling uh, that comes is different for the Murthy. And uh, to me, this feels like going from the form to the formless. So you have Ganesh with form and then you have uh, consciousness without form. And if you slowly like meditate in Dhyana, the form ultimately resolves into the formless. And to me, this is an intermediate step. Okay. And it is made up of seven conch shells. You know, you blow the conch shell, you get the sound Om. And you have one, two, three, four, five. There are five here and then uh, two here. So it's a total of seven conch shells representing our chakras, you know. And uh, there's a whole text, in fact, I should do that, called uh, Ganapati Atharva Shirsha, which talks about the relationship between Ganesh and Om. Okay, there's a primordial relationship. And uh, you blow the conch shell, you get a sound similar to Om. And uh, for instance, like the Om has three curves. The lower part is the deep sleep state, which is a big head of Ganesh. Then the upper part of Om is the uh, waking state. And then the wiggle is the uh, dream. So metaphorically, the elephant's trunk is the dream, right? Uh, we can carry 10 logs in the dream. The elephant can carry 10 logs. The big head of Ganesh is deep sleep, right? Because the big head is the closest to consciousness. Your thoughts have slowed down. Everything is you. Ganesh is the Akashic records. So that is deep sleep state of Om. And then the elephant's trunk is very sensitive, the tip. So that is a waking state. So Ganesh is Om, waking, dreaming, and deep sleep, and Turiya. And uh, there's, a, there's a form of the, the, you also blow the conch shell whenever there is an imbalance. And to me, uh, there's a lot of imbalance going on in the world. Uh, in our body, we're being, you know, there's so much, uh, you can't trust the food you get anymore. Uh, whether it's from companies or even regular vegetables, you really can't trust the soil. There's so many things going on. Uh, you can't trust the technology that's being thrown at you. Everything is being manipulative. Uh, you and I, when we watch the same, uh, when we do a Google search, uh, you're in your own Truman Show, I'm in my own Truman Show. The millennials won't understand the Truman Show, but it's really our own world were being manipulated by the tech companies to see what they want us to see. You don't see the world the way it is. You see the world the way they want us to see. So I don't know how I got there, but Ganesh is the call to action, the conch shell Ganesh, to let go, to be break free of this chain. So what we're doing is, in this community, the Patreon, YouTube, uh, you know, our retreats, we're for forming what Lori calls the sacred rebellion. You know, we are uh, the spiritual resistance. We don't need to be play the game. That's why we all blow the conch shell. This is the conch shell Ganesh. And I already alluded to my story on the conch shell, where in our retreat in January, we get like over 60 people, and I tried to buy 60 people, uh, conch shells in New Delhi. I was there earlier this year and I go to a wholesaler and you know we're going up the stairs in this old ancient market which I will take you. We're doing an India trip in a year and this ancient market is called uh, Chandani Chauk. Okay, one of the oldest areas in Delhi, old Delhi. And the buildings are dilapidated, the wires are hanging down. Uh, and there are two guys walking up the stairs. You have to be really mindful, okay, where you walk. And then I go to the second floor. There's all these two boxes of conch shells, about 100 of them. 
and then you know the conch shell there are seven right representing the seven chakras and I have to muster up all my strength right from the muladhara from the muladhara the swadishtina the manipura the annahata the vishuddha the sahasranama all these seven chakras are activated in you when you blow the conch shell and the om comes right so i'm taking a huge breath mustering up right from the muladhara and i make a massive sound through the through my ass okay a big sound came out of my ass obviously i, I had an imbalance from eating the indian spicy food and it wasn't a uh, digesting well and that was the last time i literally tried a conch shell i did not buy it for obvious reasons imagine 60 people blowing conch shells and the sound come in i mean it can you know it can be a fire hazard so the bottom line i would rather have this ganesh rather than an actual conch shell because of what he represents the form to the formless and what i call a sacred rebellion abstract ganesh jai ganesh